sister speak your mind. I'm glad that I caught you, just before I fly to the Bahamas. As I want to speak to you about your tithing record. There has been a gap recently in your tithing. I'm worried for you. As God is not pleased to see such gaps, he is concerned about you sister. My young son is seriously ill. And I have to pay his hospital bills, which may run into many thousands of dollars. That's why I haven't been paying my tithe. Since my husband's death last year, I'm now the sole breadwinner. Without a man to provide for me as 1 Timothy 5, 8 says. It is difficult for me to provide for my children. So, I might have to sell my small automobile, to pay the hospital. But I need that to get to my minimum wage job. Whatever will I do? Pastor can you please help me? Can the church please help me? Oh yes. I can certainly help you. I can help you by encouraging you to obey the Bible, by giving God of your first fruits. That's the first 10% of your weekly income. If you do that, then God will bless you financially. But Pastor Money Love, what do you mean by first fruits? Um, I am um, actually a doctor now, not just a pastor. Um, Dr. Money Love is how you should address me, sister. Well the word, first fruits, means the very first of your weekly income. That money belongs to God. The Bible commands you to pay it to his church sister, before you pay for anything else, including food and medical bills. Dr. Money Love, will the church be able to help me with my son's medical bills? I've been faithfully tithing to you for many years. In the Bible, the poor received a tithe. See Deuteronomy 14 28-29. They did not pay the 10% Levitical tithe. I've also sung in your choir for years, and never received a wage for doing that. Despite the fact that the singers in the temple were paid out of the tithe, for their work for the Lord. See Nehemiah 13, 5. Oh, but that verse has a spiritual meaning, sister. Yes. That's right. Spiritual. Those verses which mention the church paying out from the storehouse to the poor, or to the singers in the temple, are to be understood spiritually. But not literally. Oh. So when the Bible talks of you receiving money, then it's literal. But when the Bible mentions you're paying out, then that's spiritual. The New Testament church help widows and orphans. Read Acts 4 32 to 34. But I guess that you take that spiritually as well. Oh. I can see now how you got your name. Dr. Money Love. Anyway, will you please help my baby? Oh yes. We as a church eldership will certainly consider helping you. But only once you tithe to God of your first fruits. Give to God the first and the best of your first fruits, that's your tithe from the first and the best of your money. And then possibly, after a couple of months of faithful tithing, then I might overlook this break in your tithing record, and then, possibly, as an eldership we might, help you. But only after my summer European preaching tour, paid for by our church. Where I take my family to Europe for a month of preaching. We stay in the best hotels, and I preach the occasional sermon to justify the great expense. We'll be visiting all the great European cities to minister to the lost. But only inside evangelical churches. Madrid, London, Venice, Rome, Paris, and Devonport within the city of Plymouth. Revival will happen. The Lord's work rests upon my shoulders. I have a divine calling to save Europe. You mean to tell me, Pastor, that you want me to pay a tithe out of my $10 an hour job before I pay the hospital bills? Where is that in the Bible? Don't you know that no Jewish group pays tithes today? Not even the most extreme ultra-Orthodox Jewish group, tithes. The Jews know that without a recognized tribe of Levi and their 48 Levitical cities, that there is no tribe of Levi to receive this tithe of crops today. Oh and read the book of Daniel too. No Jew was paying tithes in exile in Babylon, as the tithe was strictly agricultural produce, which was only from the land of Israel. Sister. It's now Dr. Money Love. Um. The tithe is your first fruits to God. Trust me, I have a doctorate in theology. You must pay me. Oh. Um. 
I meant to say that you must pay our church, first of all, before you pay any medical, or even food bills. Where does the Bible say that the tithe is the first fruit? I thought that the Feast of First Fruit was the third of the seven Jewish festivals. It was held in the spring, so it was a spring festival. It pictures Christ's resurrection. A festival isn't a tithe. Tithes and festivals are two completely different things. So tell me, where does the Bible say that the tithe is the festival of first fruits? Quote me a verse, Pastor. Sister. It's now Dr. Money Love. Um. The tithe is clearly your first fruit, the first and the best thing that we are to offer to God. That's in the Bible. I guess. Actually, only the second of the four tithes. Which was, the Levitical tithe at the tithe, which was paid to the priests by the tribe of Levi. Involved the very best of the agricultural produce, being given to the priests. Numbers 1830. The first tithe, the Levitical tithe of 10%. Paid every six years out of a seven year cycle, which was paid by landowners, to the tribe of Levi, did not include the best of the produce. It was a random 10% of all produce. So I have to go and take my flight to the Bahamas. My True Christians have given themselves to the Lord. 2 Corinthians 8, 5. But you've given yourself over to the love of money, 